What's going on? JD here, got another quick motion tutorial for you. Today, we're gonna show you how to do a title. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do another title. We've done titles before, but today we're gonna utilize the masking tool to have text appear from behind a solid line and then disappear as basically the title closes. So we're gonna use some different tricks today. You're gonna to see some different things, how to use some different tools, and let's just jump right into it. With starting a new motion project, we're gonna rename this first group. We're gonna call it text. Actually, we'll call it text one. So we'll take the text tool and we're just going to type out our text and of course we're going to go with motion, go to the inspector, we're going to increase the size here to the size we want. That'll do. And then we're just going to move it over. We're going to center it and center it and then we're just going to move it off a little bit because obviously we're going to have that little line that gets drawn eventually in the middle. So we're just gonna copy that. And the reason for is that we just want the same size of text. We're just gonna quickly rename this text to. And then we're gonna simply make, well, well you can't paste it into the title, but we're gonna select it again. And we're just gonna simply paste it in. And then that way, they're both the same. They're both in the same line. It's just easy slide it over. And again, we're just going to go just off of center. Of course, I don't want motion motion. We'll just change that text to tutorials. And there we go. That is basically our text done. So again, we're going to create a new group. And this time we're going to call it line because we're just going to draw the line in between. So we're going to sec select the shape tool, select the line, and we're just going to draw it straight down as best we can. There we go. And that looks pretty good. We will center that in between the two fairly close. And we're going to square off the, uh, the ends, so I like a, a nice clean look instead of the rounded. Mess with the width a bit. That seems good enough. And now I'm just gonna essentially shorten this up a bit. I think it looks a bit too big. That's a little better. And again, keeping it centered. Best we can right there. Just adjust tutorials a bit. So I think that looks fairly good. So selecting the group with motion in, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a rectangle mask. And because we want these to appear out of the middle, we're gonna have to mask off stuff to hide them in. So with the motion one, we're going to basically draw the mask and as you can see tutorials is left so that's not what we want so we're going to go over to the inspector and we're going to select invert mask so now basically where tutorials is is masked off but it's it's underneath. So you can see as I move it over there that it'll cover off motion, but it doesn't cover up tutorials. And that's why we do the groups. So we don't want this mask to affect anything but motion. So we're just gonna move our timeline here. We're gonna go to about the one second mark. And then what we're gonna do is basically, this is how we want it to look when the motion is done. So again, we want it at the one second mark and we're just gonna go over and click on 
the keyframe. So this will be the final position. So this is what our, our title is going to look out when it's fully expanded. So we'll click on motion, make sure we've got the right thing selected. We're going to select the position and we're going to select X. And we're just going to move it to the beginning. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to select the X and drag it. And then that way, basically, you've got no risk of going up or down. It's going to maintain the same line because you're only one, you're only basically changing the one axis. So we'll make sure the motion is completely hidden. And then we'll just slide it out to make sure that it's what we want. And that works perfect. So there you go. It's obscured behind tutorials. So now we're going to do the same with tutorials. Essentially, we're going to line up the keyframe here. So we want it about there. And we're going to basically move tutorials to the other side. So basically, they're both going to appear from behind the line. So we're going to select the position of X for tutorials. And we're going to keyframe that. I could have done that with the other one, but you saw I selected them all. And then we're just going to, again, drag it over. Because I've obscured the motion at the beginning, and we're at the beginning here, you can see how without the mask, it would have just, the text would have been on either side and slid over. So basically, now the tutorials has the motion that we want, and you see the motion tutorials come out. But that's not what we look. I mean, you can do something very similar to this. You could change maybe the way the masks are, keyframe the masks, and have a totally different thing going on. But we're just going to mask off the tutorials. Again, we're going to select the rectangle mask. We're going to go over top. That is basically masked out everything else. You have to go back in and basically invert the mask to make sure that you're only covering up that section. And there you have it. We've got the first part. So now what we're going to want to do is that we've got the first part done. The line draws in. We've got the motion tutorial coming. It's all good. So all we did was add the behavior of draw in like we did in the past tutorial. You can check that out if uh, you're not sure how to do that. So we've got the line drawn in. Perfect. So it's all drawn in. Starts from zero. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get it to a point where we want it. So that's it looks pretty much how I want it. So we're going to leave it there for a couple, a little bit, a few frames, we'll leave it for about 30 frames, and then we're going to have it go out. So what we're going to do is we're going to select tutorials, and then we're going to again, we're going to put it to 130. So we're going to select tutorials, we are going to set a position keyframe for X. So basically, it stays for 30 frames in the middle. And then we're going to have it go back to the way it was. We're going to have it disappear behind the line. So we're going to go to 230 here. And then basically, we're going to add another keyframe. And then we're just going to slide tutorials underneath so it's just obscured. So now that we have the keyframe set, there you have it. it, starts to disappear. So all appears, starts to disappear. Now we all have left to do is basically deal with the motion and deal with the line. So we're going to go down, we're going to select motion. And we're going to go through the same process. We're going to line up. We're going to have it start at the same time. We are going to place a keyframe. So basically, this is the point where it starts to exit. We're going to go to where it exits. And then we're going to basically set a keyframe there. But we're just going to move motion over so it basically disappears just like that. So it goes just beyond the line. And there you have it. Our keyframe is done. 
So draws in, comes out. Now we're just left with the line. So it all looks good. So now all we have to do is deal with this line. Although I'm going to just adjust it just a little bit here just to ensure that it disappears at kind of the same time. Because tutorials in motion are actually different lengths, so they're going to, we want them to end at the same time. So in actual fact, tutorials is moving a little bit faster. And it's just by adjusting the keyframe that we're able to accomplish that. So if we select the line here, we've got it drawn in. So we're going to want it to end, obviously, a little bit early. We don't want it all this way. So we're just going to shorten that up. Now we don't want it to just disappear abruptly either. So we're going to just adjust that a bit. And just as it comes to about here, that's where we're going to want the line to start disappearing. So what we're going to do is we are going to basically take the line, we're going to duplicate it. So we're just going to copy. We're going to create another group. We're just going to call that line to or line out. And we're just going to paste in. So now we've got the line. It's there. So we're just going to line these guys up. We're just going to change that to erase instead of draw. So it'll have the exact opposite. Here it goes. It'll erase. It's going the wrong way. So we're going to go reverse. So I want it to come back the opposite way from when it's drawn in. So it goes up. And there we go. Now the duration isn't quite what we want, so we're just going to monkey about with that a bit to get our timing still a little late. I'm going to make sure that these don't cross over, and that's probably getting close there. So if we play it through, there we go, draws in, and there we go, comes out. So we're just going to shorten that up. If we hit play, there you have a new motion title. So there you have it, another quick tutorial. Today we learned how to use the masking tool, which is great for making things appear and disappear and taking things out in motion that you just don't want to be there. So hopefully you can utilize some of these tricks and tips to make your own titles. If not, we've always got the files. They're free to download. Just follow the links below and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tell us what you want to see in future videos. And we'll try to get those done for you. Until next time, See ya.